Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to sketch the level curves for a multivariable function. Now let's look at this question, here this question is asking sketch the level curves associated with f of x y is equal to y square minus x square and if you draw this graph three dimensionally the graph is going to look like this and when they say to draw level curves that means they are asking to draw this graph in x y plane alone. Now let's see how we can do that. First of all, to do that, what we had to do is we had to equate this equation to a constant. Instead of f of x y, we put a constant and equal to y square minus x square. After that, we plug some values to c and find what are the graphs we are getting. For example, let's say if c is equal to 0, we are going to have y square minus x square is going to be equal to 0. But before I do that, I expand this one y minus x times y plus x is equal to 0. From this one we can see that y is going to be equal to plus or minus x therefore this is going to be a line. right? And let's see what happens if we have a positive value. For example let's say we have c is equal to 1. We are going to have y square minus x square is equal to 1. You may already recognize this one. This is a standard form of a para, I mean hyperbola. So this is a hyperbola and uh, let's see what happens if we have a negative value. For example, if c is equal to negative 1, we are going to have y square minus x square is equal to negative 1. This is also a hyperbola, right? Hyperbola. Now we are ready to draw our graph. Now let's see how that graph is going to look like. Okay, let's draw our x pl x y plane. Okay, here we are going to have x Oh my god, something wrong here. I chose the wrong one. Okay, I had to select this one right here. Okay, now we are ready to draw. Let's draw our y axis. Okay. Okay. This is our y axis. And uh, we have to draw the x-axis. Okay. Okay, this is our x-axis, right? We have the y-axis and the x-axis. Now, this is y, this is x. Now let's look at the first one. First one is y is equal to plus or minus x, that's going to be a line, right? And it's going to go through this way and this way. So we have the line in both directions. Now let's go ahead and draw that one. Here we are going to have the line that's passed through the origin. Okay. Let's choose a different color. Blue color. Okay, now let's turn this one around and also we are going to have the line crossing in the opposite direction. Okay, now we have two lines passing through the origins and this is the e graph for the first function. Now let's look at the second function. We have y square is y square minus x square is equal to 1. That's a hyperbola and when we have a hyperbola with positive value that's going to give us the hyperbola that above this y plane and like this and also we are going to have a hyperbola like this I mean parabola like this and the since this is one we are going to have positive one here this is going to be negative one right and uh, let's see how this hyperbola look like for to illustrate this hyperbola let's go ahead and do this one and this hyperbola is going to be look like this Okay, and again this also going to be negative one right here. This is going to be positive one right here. Now let's see how what happens if we have a positive two. If you have a positive two, you will get a graph that's one unit above this one. You will get two, and again that's going to be a parabola right here, and also we are going to have a parabola right here, negative two. 
and it goes like this if you put 3 you will get 3 and negative 3 and it goes like this again for this one if you have a negative 2 we are going to have the graph like this right so this can be negative 2 and if you draw here that's going to be a positive 2 and that's how we sketch the level curves for a multivariable functions. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.